we artists are very different. Like there's other there's things that excite us that anybody any normal person would even consider. You look at composition, you look at balance, you look at just just the thought, how can this work for me? I was in the contemporary world, in the museums and galleries, you know, these big cities and such, but I kind of longed. Montana is a place where you can still walk, go hiking, and not run into anybody. <laughs> Being Crow Indian, I want to carry that tradition and imply that with our, you know, symbologies, with our designs and our lifestyles. Not in such a realistic, realistic way like uh, some artists would. So I was able to come up with this particular style that I felt comfortable with. I can, I can change. I can be more tight. I can be more realistic. But I still want to have some element of the Crow Indianness, the design. Even before you. Uh, Prepare a canvas, you, the thought and the idea is there. Today, I feel like horses. Should they be in a meadow, the hills, or with a beautiful mountain backdrop? Every day is exciting for new thoughts and new ideas. Just taking a walk outside my studio here, it's not, not very far. There's a nice little trail there, and I go there just, just to um, get inspiration. I imagine sometimes I can see a setting, and perhaps a village was there at one time. It's like a musician thinking about this melody in his mind, you know, and he finally grabs a guitar, he works it until he feels comfortable, and maybe he's created something he's always been thinking about. It's always exciting. That's where I see passion comes in. A lot of artists are moving to Montana. I think whoever comes here, they're going to be surprised the caliber of art that we have. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else in Montana. It's beautiful. You can do just about anything you want here. Big sky country.